Today I'm doing the mid-game guide on V-Swarm Simulator. If you uh, haven't seen the beginner's guide, go watch that. So you've probably uh, had enough time to get better at the game, and now you're wondering, hmm, where is mid-game guide? So here it is. I'm going to show you a few things in the mid-game guide, like how to get stuff. And yeah, I don't know how to explain, but just in general. So when you get to 5B, you see Panda Bear. Talk to him, nothing happens, because, actually, only for me, nothing happens, because, of course, so, yeah. Maybe you're wondering, maybe you're over here seeing this royal jelly, like, hmm, how do I get it? Because you can't jump that high. You might try to do, when I didn't know how, I tried to do this. That doesn't really work. If you want to go to the 10B area and get the parachute, you can use the parachute to get there, like just like that and get it. But if you don't have the time to get the parachute, all that for the parachute, then just look no further. You can go here. Ooh, secret passageway. It's really dark, but eventually you'll, you'll get here. Ta da! So, yeah. Some other things is. should start trying to fight more vicious bees because vicious bee you need to claim also the spider he is scary for you and then you just get everything from him it, I, it. so uh there's a royal jelly up there it's pretty easy to get you just do this small lobby in ta-da in the 10 b area there's memory mats which i'm gonna do right, right now because why not Apparently, all of the good stuff's at the bottom. Pineapples, gumdrops. Yeah, gumdrops are important, said my dad, because I need gummy beet. Gummy beet. There's some hidden things, like this one is not that hidden, the pineapple. This one, though, is really hidden, like, even I didn't know. There's a hidden glue right here. It's... Yeah, how are you supposed to know that's there? There's stump snail right here. You're not gonna kill him anytime soon if you're if you have bad weapons or bad bees. Anyways, uh, so uh, about he, at this point, if you want to know, hmm, should I buy the backpacks or the tools? I would recommend getting the tools because they're cheaper and in the late game or uh, wait no this is the mid game i don't I, i've never actually i just randomly see, seen this i actually didn't know that was there so i guess i'm just gonna like look at that after the video but apparently there's something here that i don't think anyone knew about anyways uh so yeah, that's about everything here. There's also science bear, which is kind of important. There's there's tunnel bear in here, which is really strong. Here's a little tip. He'll easily kill you, but if you go on this side of the wall, you can quickly run around him. Also, if you want to get out, you can just do this. And you pop up back here. Back. Also, if you're wondering why my hive slots are green, it's because you can put something in here and it turns green. If you want to get rid of it, you can just do that. So, oh hi Oliver. So, uh, something else. Right about now, you're about to need cr to discover crafting. Ooh. What is crafting, you ask? Well, well actually, uh, it's here. With, you don't need honey for the hasty guard, no. Instead, you need moon charms, stingers, a lot of other things. Oliver. I use the bomber guard and the brave guard because it gives colorless V attack and critical chance and power. Yeah. And I have gifted dry envy. 
Also, bro, I've heard that you should stay away from blue backpacks. They steal your treasure. So, yeah. Some other things. There's a ticket up there. Right up there, if you see it. Everything's in the way, so you probably don't. You can get there with slingshot. I'm pretty sure that's probably you can do that. Yeah, I can. Yes, yes, always right. There's the moon amulet. My current, if you, there's also badges with give tickets and like some boosts. Also, don't ask me how I got this much pineapple patch pollen. I'm just gonna say, uh, look at my moon charm. 123% pineapple patch pollen. Also, I had a triple field dice boost for pineapple going on. So, yeah. That's and I burned through all my microconverters. And when I you get in the 15B area, you should, there's a hidden golden egg, and an epic bee is pretty good for you. So, and you'll probably die doing it, so you should turn in your pollen like I'm doing right now. It, it takes a second. I mean, if you have a small backpack, it doesn't have... take as long, but conversion rate also makes it faster, so you won't have as much conversion rate. You see that guy? That's what you'll probably look. Also, if you didn't notice, I got Bear B for Easter. Oh, and now I got Bear. bear. Yeah, I also got Bear B too. Anyways, now that your honey's done, you go. Yes, I jump high. If you didn't know, there's. I, I'll kill my werewolf first because. You should too. I don't. He gives cool stuff. Sometimes he gives a ticket, like with what he did right now. You can go in here, and there's cave spiders that can kill you. You gotta quickly. If you have, you need to get a lot. You you should get haste. Yeah, you'll, you'll probably need to get haste to go there. So, uh, yes. Another thing is. The royal jelly. In the like really late game, you can like use a mil a billion honey on royal jellies and try to auto jelly your way, which you can do in the system. And like you can do it until you get a legendary, until you get a mythic, or until you get a gifted. gifted. So like you could turn on require gifted and into, into a legendary, and it'll keep going until you get a gifted legendary. I've heard that it like automatically stops at legendary bees or mythic bees, but there's also when you get fifteen badges you'll be able to go here. There's sprinklers. You need badges to unlock. There's also the mega memory match. And the blending. Which is useful for quests. Well let's say oh my god there's a star jelly. How do I do that? Well, you could just do that, but that's really hard. You could jump up. If you have enough jump height, you can jump on here and then glide to there. But if you can't do either of them, here's what you should do. You should get in the memory match, jump on there, glide to there, and then glide on top of that. And boom, gifted B. Also, once you get an ace badge, there's here, but that's late game. So... Oh, there's also a hidden royal jelly in the pumpkin patch. Which is in that Yeah, place. right here. And, but, I hope you want to see it right back to your So, yeah. one thing I recommend, you should focus on, like, sprouts, because they can give a lot of cool stuff. Also, you should, well, if you can, buy the parachute. It'll help you. It'll re it'll help you get the royal jelly on top of that dandelion if you see it. I think I have it right up there. there. Okay, I missed it, but you get the idea. So that's about all. There's probably more, like for example. Uh, and wait, did the dinosaur salmon? That's Dick's bud. Yeah, but 
You'll need a translator, and that's late game. Which is sad. <laughs> One fun fact. <laughs> My friend is doing funny things. Oh, you can stop now. I'm trying to say something. Fun fact, you don't have to go up the staircase to get there. If you're a noob and don't have much jump height, you can do the little obby thing where you parkour on here, then parkour on here, parkour on here, and then boom. But if you have high jump height and crow, you can just you can do that, which is fast. So that's probably all. There might be more. Focus on sprouts and vicious bees. Because they do this. There's a ticket up there. Also, there's a royal jelly on that pine tree. Something there. Get this. And nothing else. Not really much else. So, peace out.